What is going on guys? Welcome back to Wildcat Cave. Today is week three, game day in the bluegrass. Today we have UT Chattanooga coming to town. Should be a pretty easy game against an FCS school um, right before we get into the heart of our SEC schedule coming up with South Carolina next week and then Florida and LSU following that. Uh, today we're going to look for Will Levis to really kind of air the ball out a little bit, get the offense clicking on all cylinders. Overall, I want, to, I want them to use this as a tune-up game. Um, fix a lot of the mistakes we've been making uh, some of the bigger ones are you know the penalties was a big problem last week in key situations so i'd like to limit those to five penalties total for the game um, if we can keep it under that we have a good chance of not beating ourselves moving forward also our defensive backs have got to get stops especially on the third and longs the third and eights third and nines um, and we haven't really had too many turnovers we've only had one interception this season so i'd like to see us get at least one more interception today and be able to stop some of those third down situations. And finally, our defensive line has got to start getting pressure with Jordan Wright, J.J. Weaver, Josh Paschal, Bully McCall. All those guys got to start getting to the quarterback. So if we can do those three things today, guys, I think we'll put ourselves in a good situation, a good position to move forward in the SEC and, and potentially make the run that Kentucky wants to make. So we're heading through Lexington right now, about to turn down Man of War uh, towards Kroger Field. And I will meet back up with you guys when we get there. All right, we're back, guys. Made it to Lexington. Um, pretty safe and sound. We are. We didn't come up here to tailgate a whole lot this morning. It's a 12 o'clock kickoff. So we got here. It's about 11.15 right now. We're probably just going to head straight to the field and go on in. Obviously didn't make the catwalk or anything. Probably going to be a short vlog. I don't know if we'll stay for the whole game if it's a blowout. Uh, but like I said, we're about to walk over into Kroger Field and I will see you guys there. seats now stopping got us some chick-fil-a uh, got a long walk up these ramps i'll see you guys at the top
Crime Report, guys. Pretty much everything we said we wanted to see out of Kentucky today has not happened. Will Levis has had a hard day throwing the ball, not had a lot of protection. Ran the ball well, but it looks like we've went away from Chris Rodriguez in the run for some reason. Um, defensive lines only have, I think, two tackles for a loss, not doing too good. A lot of penalties, a lot of self-inflicted wounds. Um, definitely not playing well, playing very undisciplined. It's 14-10 catch right now. Uh, had some big turnovers and interceptions, some fumbles. Not looking good right now for the Cats. Uh, I think we're still going to win, but we got to come out and play a whole lot better in the second half. Again, just very undisciplined and looks like we really don't know what we're doing out here. The game is good for a first down, first down Kentucky! Ladies and gentlemen, that will be the game. Cats ended up winning 28-23. Uh, got lucky there in the fourth quarter, had a pick six. Um, it's an ugly loss. I mean, 3-0 is 3-0 at the end of the day, but it's an ugly loss against a team we should have beat by a whole lot more. So can't be too excited about it, but on to the next. Uh, we got to tighten a lot of things up before South Carolina. We'll go over some of that when we get in the car and get out of here. I'll see you guys in just a second. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. We're heading south, heading back home. Um, a quick public service announcement. When you're driving in Lexington, especially after a game day when it's crowded, pay attention to what you're doing. Um, we almost got a, in a pretty bad wreck because somebody wasn't paying attention. So just pay attention to what you're doing, please. Uh, you know, watch your, watch your surroundings. Don't drive drunk, all that good stuff. Um, but as far as the game goes, Cats got the win, 28-23. It was an ugly win, again. I mean, you take a win any way you can get it, but when you're playing a team like Chattanooga, you want to make a statement and kind of have stuff go well, especially going into SEC play on the road. We didn't have that, but hopefully Stoops and Cohen get everything tightened up. Um, overall, offense looked okay. Will Levis threw for a lot of yards, but had a couple bad picks and interceptions um, and fumbles and that stuff. So that's something you got to clean up. Offensive line did not look great at all for as good as they are. Defensive line kind of came alive in the second half, finally started getting some pressure, which led to a pick six, which tells you why it's so important to get pressure on the quarterback. Um, the D-backs, they picked on Valentine all day. Uh, he had a pretty rough go at it, but again, not stuff that can't be fixed, not stuff that we can't tighten up, just we got to do it, especially heading into the next four games. Uh, it's going to be really important to, for Stoops and White and Cohen to get that stuff tightened up. But again, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like the content, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when uh, the videos are dropping. I got some good stuff coming up, some videos I'm really excited about. I think you guys are going to like. So make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down in the uh, comment section. Let me know how you thought the cats did today. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Go cats.